<clears throat> Hello Minecraft fans. So 1.8 has been out for a little while. And everybody's collecting their andesite and diorite and their granite. And they're also finding the underwater fortresses. The underwater fortresses have some really cool loot. that my brother and I find desirable and we want to know the best way to get all of these cool bricks the uh, different prismarines the sea lanterns and all the other loot that comes uh, comes with the underwater fortress so I'm gonna show you how we got rid of the mining fatigue and what we're going to do to expose this entire fortress to air and what it's gonna kinda look like so what we did to start with we uh, we found the fortress then we built a rail out to it we are in the middle of nowhere and right on top of the fortress we dropped a bunch of sand just dropped it straight down pretty simple like so right on top of the fortress and we made ourselves a little uh, cobblestone layer so we could put a bed and some chest for supplies and sleeping and then we dug our way down to uh, you know probably middle fortress level got down there and killed the elder, elder guardians there's three of them we went in through the top of the fortress killed the guy on the top level and then there seems to be one on each level underneath it so you kill the three guardians no more mining fatigue it's wonderful after that was done we still don't want to deal with all these other regular guardian guys because it would be a pain to mine down there and all that and they seem to respawn really fast so we like the idea of how we uh, filled in the middle of the fortress with sand and we thought we would continue it through the entire fortress and instead of just mining it up as we go we figured we would expose the whole fortress to air that way we could see it in all of its glory and it will be much easier to get all the supplies that we need so the first thing we did is we built the four four towers at the uh, at the exact corners of the fortress. And then we uh, broke it off into quarters. Silly fish. That's what we hate dealing with. We just broke it off by dropping sand. And then after you have a quarter or so of the fortress all uh, the perimeter and sand break it up into these little quadrants like so and if you're wondering well why do that why not just fill it all up with sand well it's because the elder guardian drops a piece of loot that makes it much faster to break it up in quadrants and then suck it up it's called the sponge. And here's what the sponge does. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. It sucked up a lot of water. But the sponge, it, it'll work once. Then you throw it in a furnace. Doesn't take long at all. Goes from wet sponge to dry sponge. We'll hop back down there and finish that up real quick.
all dried up. Grab our sponge back because we definitely don't want to lose that. And then I'll show you what we exposed so far. Oh, jeez. Looks something like this. So it's a gigantic pyramid out in the middle of the ocean. But look at all these fantastic prism marine bricks that we'll be able to take back to the mainland and build with. But before we do that, we're going to show this all to you. After we get it all exposed, it's going to look great with just a giant sand wall around it. Like where I started where all those sea lanterns are will be very pretty to see. It'll be a sight to behold. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll get busy, and when it's all done and exposed, we will show you what it looks like. Uh, thanks for watching.